If you loved being read to as a kid, boy, do we have a theater experience for you. Stories on Stage brings great writing to life by professional actors in a very unique way. Anthony Powell, Artistic Director for Stories on Stage, is here with more. Nice to see you again. Thanks for having me. So this is a different theater experience. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, basically, as you said, we bring great writing to life. We do shows where professional actors perform short stories. So that means they play all the characters and they bring all the humor and emotion of the story to the audience directly, one on one. Like you said, if you if you love being read to as a kid, if you were lucky this enough. This is a dream, yeah, if you were lucky enough. And how long has Stories on Stage been around? Well, I can't believe it. It's our 15th anniversary season wow. coming up. And we're celebrating by really kicking out the jams. We have some wild shows coming up. We've got a Fractured Fairy Tales, uh, Fifty Shades of Stories on Stage. <laughs> I imagine you can guess what that one's about. <laughs> uh, and our upcoming show, our season opener, Carpe Diem. <gasps> Ooh, and Carpe Diem, am I correct? When Does that mean seize the day? Absolutely right. And, and all the stories in the show are about people who dream big dreams and, and they leap before they look. And yeah. I, think, I think basically the expression seize the day is another way of saying go big or go home. Where did that come from, that title? Well, you know, it was one of our audience members. Every year we have a Name That Show contest and uh, we get tremendous ideas, great suggestions, and this one's from Betty Rayner of Denver. So Betty, if you're Yay. watching, thanks. Thanks, Betty Rayner. You rock. Carpe diem, <laughs> baby. Carpe diem. And most of your stories are performed by a solo actor, is that right? True. But uh, again, we're kicking out the jams this season. Our upcoming show has one story where we have three actors on stage, each playing a different character experiencing this crazy event in totally different ways. It's, it's like a little one act being dropped into the middle of the show. Are you ready to show off a little bit? Well, yeah. Come on, give me an example. Oh. He's going to do a live read right now, Anthony Powell. Okay, there's only one of me, so <laughs> I'll do uh, another story that's okay. in this show. This is from God Bless America by Steve Almond. Billy Clam had not signed on for Drama One. He'd signed on for a tax preparation course called Loopholes Ahoy. But the Medford Adult Education Facility was a confusing place, and he ended up in the wrong room. But over the next two months of acting classes, the teacher introduced a variety of interesting topics, some with a phony British accent. He addressed the importance of living moment to moment and remaining connected to your process. And in this way, Billy began to see himself in a whole new light. He wasn't fooling himself. He knew the odds were stacked against him. He was 35 years old, for one thing, and his hair was falling out in clumps. Also, he'd never acted before. But there were plenty of actors who came to the field late, such as Robert Duvall, who hadn't landed a decent role until he was practically 40, and plenty of actors who were on the short side, Hoffman, DeVito, or Ball, Malkovich, Brenner, Duvall, again. Most good actors were either short or bald when you actually did the math, because the kind of adversity forced a person to develop other parts of his personality, which is just what Billy Clam was in the process of doing. Very nice. <laughs> Very good. Anthony Powell, is that a true story about Robert Duvall? He didn't really make it until he was in his 40s? That's true. That's, he, wow. he worked, but uh, uh, it was uh, To Kill a Mockingbird. It seemed like he's been around forever. Indeed, he that has. is amazing. Yeah. How do we get tickets to a show? Uh, you can uh, call us at the number on the screen. Okay. You can go to www.storiesonstage.org or just walk in. All right, that number at the bottom of the screen, 303 494 0523. Write it down and then give them a call as soon as the show's over. It's 303 494 0523. Any actors performing that we may know, know or heard of? Well, we've got some fabulous local actors Evan Weissman from Buttport. Kara Lindsay from the Colorado Shakespeare Festival, Jeff Work from Denver Center, and, and we do have a special guest who is from a, let us say, rival network that shall go unmentioned, Oh! but that should be a lot of fun. How fun! <laughs> so why do you think someone should come and check it out? Well, it, it is that sense of experiencing a story in a group, so, yeah. you know, basically a, a private experience, reading, Very intimate. becomes social. And you mentioned something when you were doing your reading, and I thought it was kind of funny. I chuckled at it when you were um, talking about the teacher who was saying, <laughs> get into the role and, you know, feel the moment. What advice did you take away during your studies that, hey, that was some really good advice, and then some that you went, ah, never helped? Some of what I just said is some of the stuff that did, didn't yeah. really help so much. I think the biggest thing I learned was, you know, to take it easy on yourself. 
there's so much there's so much focus when you're acting there's so much you know possibility for failure and whatnot you got to give yourself a break I agree I agree completely thank you it was so fun to watch I can't wait to see it in person Carpen Diem as he said will perform on Saturday September 19th at Sioux Teatro you can call the box office and mention Colorado and Company you're going to get a five dollar discount off each ticket when you mention Colorado and Company and when you buy online enter the promo code Colorado at checkout for the discount get all the information you need by calling 303-494-0523 or again you can go to their website which is storiesonstage.com.